morning, everybody. We're just uh, working on Bianca here. She's our long-haired Maltese. She's a beautiful little dog. Uh, she comes to us very, very often. She comes to us about once a month. So she's very long-coated, and she has just a pretty, pretty coat. We bathed her, we cream rinsed her, we blow dry her. Uh, just kind of working on her face now. So, um, and we just wanted to show you some tips on on doing her bangs, but just kind of shaping up her face. Uh, we trimmed her ears. So uh, yeah, so we're about to do her bangs. So just kind of combing them forward like this. Getting like a top view of them here, so we can just. I'm using an eight and a half curved shear, just kind of going like this and going across that way. You want to be very, very careful with the ear flap here, so remember that there's an ear there, so you kind of want to be very, very cautious, go slow. Same thing on this side, you have the ear right here, so you want to be very, very careful with the scissors not to cut the ear. And you want to brush forward again. Let's see what we have. And once again, Bianca's actually putting her head down. She's so used to it that she puts her head down for me, uh, knowing that that's what I need her to do. Um, again, a lot of this is just training, as it takes time uh, to achieve that. Uh, Bianca's been coming to me since she's about six months old. So she's getting very used to it. Um, believe it or not, she's getting better and better, but it took this long to get her to this point where she really lets us do anything that we need to. So, yeah, let's see. So we'll just comb forward again. And a lot of it is just going over your work, being very, very careful. There you go. Good girl, Bianca. Always tell them they're doing good. There you go, Mom. You look so pretty. And then what we'll do is we'll take our thinning shears, once we do that, and we'll just hit it right here, just to blend the bang bangs into the corners of her head here, right by the corners of her eye, rather. So just blend that in so it looks a little smoother and any little wispies you could just hit with the thinning shears like this just blend it in like you got this sticking out right here just hit that with the thinning shears and you comb through it and it'll give you that that smooth look like she's getting and you can even lift the ear like this kind of come from behind like that. Same thing on this side, you could just kind of lift the ear. It's okay, Bianca. Just kind of hit it with the thinning shears like that. And again, it, it takes a long time to get them to this level where they stay so, so still for you. But, and then what we'll do is we'll just check her bangs one more time, make sure that they're even. I'm using curved shears because I feel that the curved shears get in there a little bit. You can kind of use the tips a little better than the straight shears. You just want to comb it out. Good girl, Bianca. Yeah, there you go. I just figured we'd just show you a quick little tip on uh, trimming bangs and you can see how pretty she looks right there. Just with a little bit of, little bit of clipping, little snipping here and there. You don't need to do a lot. Um, we're we're going to work on it a little further, but yeah, basically we're just combing it forward, doing what we did, just coming across, coming this way, blending the sides a little bit with the thinning shears, and you can achieve that just like that. So give it up for Bianca, guys. Thank you so much for, for tuning into our channel. We really appreciate it. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Um, also, tune into our radio show. It's Groomer Humor on Pet Life Radio. We're going to leave the link down below. You can click right on it. Uh, it's funny stuff, very informative, but give it up for Bianca, such a good girl, she's come such a long way as a puppy, she's always good, but she's gotten so much better, guys, thank you for tuning in. Good girl. Good girl.